Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from Stem APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about the Android operating system and how we can integrate the uh, Android operating system with OpenCV, Open Computer Vision. We have a lot of ground to cover, so let's get started. The first thing you need to do is you need to get the ADT plugin and the SDK tools and platform tools and all of the, that stuff right here. Uh, there are many ways to do this. I'm going to do it this way because I believe it's the easiest way for beginners. So let's. I'm going to do it this way. All you need to do is click on it, and you, I have a 64-bit uh, version. You need to uh, accept uh, the terms and conditions from Google, and just click the the box right there and hit download and it's going to download. I'm not going to hit download because as you can see right here, I just downloaded it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to that folder where I have it downloaded already. And as you can see, it's, it's here. It's this folder right here. This is what you're gonna get. Once you click on that box, you're gonna get a zip file like this one. All you need to do is extract, or if you're using the terminal, if you're using the terminal, all you need to do is say unzip. Okay, let me just show you. If you for those guys that like to use the terminal, uh, all you need to do is go go to where am I? In home, so I should be right here. Ls, and you're gonna find where it was the name ADT. Uh, ADT. Oh no, I have it in home Android. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. CD uh, Android. It's it's not capitalized. Android LS, and there it is. Okay, and all you need to do is go on zip ADT and then uh, zip and then hit enter. I'm not going to hit enter because I already have it on zip. As you can see it right there, it's going to create this folder right there. Okay, and this is the same folder that you can see here. Okay, once you unzip it, it's going to create that folder. Inside that folder, you're going to find the SDK, this guy right here, and you're going to find Eclipse. Okay, you're going to go into the folder named Eclipse. If you're doing it in the terminal, CD, uh, CD, ADT, LS, CD, Eclipse, LS, and you're going to find the same files right here, okay? And you're gonna find the binary right here, uh, the diamond shape uh, named Eclipse, and you're gonna right click on it, and you're going to run it, okay? It's gonna open the Android developer tools. I'm gonna create another folder to do it with you guys. So I'm gonna call this OpenCV uh, Android uh, test tutorial. Let's call it tutorial. Okay, and it's going to open a brand new workspace just for that folder that I just created. It's going to look just like that for you guys also. That's why I'm doing it from the beginning. It's going to show you you can do all that. I'm not going to do it because I want to keep this tutorial short. So I'm going to close it and then I have my my uh, tablet. I have a Nexus 7 right now connected to to it, so it's starting to look for for stuff. Uh, it's trying to make sense of what's going on. In in your case, in my case, it might not ask me because it already knows where to find the the SDK. But in your case, if it asks you where's your SDK. It might just do it automatically. I do not remember how it, it happened. Just go to that folder right here and 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 choose it. And it's gonna you hit OK and it's gonna know where to find the SDK because it needs it needs to all the oops I picked the wrong one. What did I hit here? 
it needs to, to do, okay it needs these things to work okay so because it has all the platforms and all that stuff okay so now I'm, uh, I'm assuming that you're using I'm not going to use an emulator because uh, in this tutorial because it takes forever to set up maybe in another tutorial I'll talk about it how to do it in this tutorial I, I just want you guys to to get started and, and, and to get started fast because I know how you're excited to use it so later on we'll use the emulator later on we'll use all that other stuff okay so once you have this set up you are going to see these two little guys do these two Android. That's for the emulator. That's for the ABD, which we're not going to do right now for the Android virtual device. And as you can see, there are, uh, will be a lot of other stuff in there. You're going. The most important thing is this one right here. It's the Android SDK manager. In your case, if you have not set it up when you first click on it you have to let android know where your sdk is located therefore you have to go here like i showed you just before and tell android where to find that that um, sdk uh, folder okay and you gotta let it know or you this box right here it will not open for you unless you let them know where that is located okay okay once you get these to open and there are plenty of tutorials on the web on youtube of how to do this i'm just that's why i'm going so fast because we're not interested in learning android i'm i'm we're learning opencv on android so i want to get to the opencv part which is the most important part for these tutorials okay so once you get into the SDK manager, you need to choose the version of Android version of whatever you're using. In my case, I'm using I use three phones and I use a tablet. I have an X7, I have a, an old Motorola 2.33, which is this one right here. I have a, a Droid, which is also 2.33, and I have an HTC. 4.03 uh, that one right here which I have not downloaded yet I'm going to do that now so you guys know how to do it and automatically when you first download the ADT it will give you the latest which is this one is the Nexus 7 and it's 442 okay that, that that comes installed automatically it always goes with the noise so once you do that I'm going to show you how to download it. I already downloaded 2.33, as you can see, it's installed, installed. So I'm not going to do that one. So I'm going to do 4.03, which is this one. All you need to do is choose it, and it's going to ask you. Let me open this for you guys to see better. It's going to ask you, install these seven packages. If you open them here, you're going to see that there are seven packages. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, and light one two three four five six seven seven packages okay so you say yes I want to install those seven packages and it's going to install those seven packages it's gonna tell you do you accept the license yes I do and you hit install and it's going to install all those packages it takes forever so I'm not I'm just gonna let it go in the background okay so while that is downloading um you you could wait i mean in, in my case i'm doing this tutorial so i cannot wait so what i'm going to do is while that's downloading we're going to go to the opencv uh web page here and we're going to find um the opencv for android okay so we're going to get this android on downloads right here and we're going to pick this one OpenCV for Android, the latest version, 249. That's the one I got. It's April 25th, which is brand new. I don't know when you're watching these videos, but for me right now, this is brand new. So you want to click on that one, OpenCV for Android, Linux, or Mac, or even better, if you just hit OpenCV.org, first page, 
and just go OpenCV for Android, even better, this one right here, and just pick yes, and it's going to download automatically, it's going to go to SourceForge, and it's going to download, and I'm going to stop it, because as you can see it, it's right there, okay, so I don't want another one, so I'm going to cancel this one, but it's going to be open, downloading this one right here as you can see up showing folder and it's going to that where is it uh, I think I moved it already yeah I moved it I have it here I created a folder called Android open CV and I put it inside this is the thing that you're gonna get that open CV 2.49 Android SDK zip okay then you're going to extract it like we did in the last one if you want to use the terminal to extract it I show you how to do it if not you just extract it extract it any way you you want okay and once you extract it it's going to create this folder right here and inside that folder you're going to find the APK application package uh, Android application package you're going to find some documents that we don't you know, we will go there into it later. The, the samples, with all the samples, all that good stuff. But the most important thing that you want, you want this folder right here. It's uh, called Android SDK. Okay? Okay. Once, let's see if uh, Android is done. Uh, let me see. It's not done yet. It's almost done. But, uh, let, let, I can show you this while this is still downloading. You want to f remember where this is, okay? It's in this folder because you want to import this folder with all those libraries. This is everything, the whole meat and potatoes is right here. So you want all of this stuff in, in, imported into your Android. So you need to go into your Android and you're going to go into import Android Android project from existing code you're gonna hit next you're gonna go to browse you're gonna find that folder where that thing is you're gonna find it and you find the SDK and Java and you're gonna hit OK okay this is how you import it and once you import it it's going to create actually I could do it because I'm using a different workspace so I'm gonna hit OK so it's, it's gonna say yes and then gonna say finish and as you can see it creates this folder right here and as you can see it's loading all the data and it's configuring everything all the libraries are configuring into your into your um, um, folder okay so now these two things are going on this one is still going so I'm going to um, uh, how many more should I just pause the video what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, pause the video I'm going to just do another tutorial because there's a, a lot of other stuff going on so um, let's end this here and and let me finish up here and then uh, I will see you in the next tutorial uh, and like always if you like this tutorial please click the like box and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in part two of this tutorial thanks for watching